Alrighty, all y'all. Um, well, I figured I was wearing the appropriate shirt for this video. Um, it's a, a pellet gun that I bought, oh, years ago when I thought I wanted to, to, to do drop shipping and stuff like that. And then I chickened out because some weird stuff happened. <clears throat> so one of the sample pellet guns that I got is uh, a breakdown uh, bullpup carbine kind of thing. And I want to make sure I don't drop anything. So I got this. If you can see it very well. A uh, uh, long time ago. A couple of years ago. And it's a pellet carbine. So I had some people on Reddit that wanted to see more about it. And about uh, how it shoots. So this is kind of what I'm, I'm going to demonstrate it a little bit. Um, I didn't take the scope off because uh, the rails the scope rails are really tiny so it's kind of a pain to get the scope back on there you go uh, there's one part of it I'll give you close-ups in just a second so this is the barrel and this is where the the barrel matches into to the the engine that's basically what I would call it with this pellet rifle and um, I got it because it had in my opinion ultimate cool factor to it and I'm not really a huge gun nut I I started shooting when I was 30 I grew up in a family of all girls and this is the receiver now you can see here the bud plate is adjustable. I'll show it. I'll, I'll get a close up here of it. Let me put this down. It came with a case and a set of really bad Chinese pellets. And that's uh, the, they're iffy at best. So. Let me see if I can zoom in here. Now zoom's not available to me. So I'm going to have to do a close up. So here's the upper on it. Let's see, I'm not used to doing this. And this is basically a, a screw collar. And this is the barrel here. And this is the, the front. It has a post sight up here and it has a flip up sight down here with windage. <clears throat> I call it windage. So I might be out of step. So I'll tell you guys how much I of a, a groupie I am. I don't hang around with people that, that normally shoot. Not that I have anything against it, but 20 years in Southern California, um, you kind of get a little bit paranoid. The cool thing is, is that the shoulder part is adjustable up and down. I adjusted this to, for myself and it uh, has multiple safeties built into it, which is pretty cool it's got safety for the caulking right here so you can undo that it's got an engine catch here for when it's completely out and you can release it and put it back in and you've also got a trigger safety here which goes front and back so I saw this and there's no serial numbers on it or anything like that and there's people that say it's Pakistani or, or Chinese 
I the case that it came in says that it's Chinese. So and I'm not a professional. I don't do these things for for a living. So anyway, the way it comes together. is just like this now it takes a little bit for it to screw in and it's not really you can still twist it back and forth so the notch this might be a private prototype but the way I tighten it down is like that. Uh, the scope is a four power scope and I'm not going to cock it and load it uh, for the video here and I'm not going to point this at the camera because I'm not going to be accused of brandishing it. So it's a pellet rifle and I saw this and I thought this was cooler than peanut butter on toast <clears throat> and it's been a long time since I've shot it and uh, when I'm finished with this um, I will take it down I've only got seven yards in my in my basement and that's all you really need to see what the basic groups are on this. I might shoot it tonight. It's pretty loud for a pellet rifle. And it's pretty compact. You can see... Uh, well, I need to take these off. And the scope is pretty tight to the eye. And that's about how how close with this with the scope. That's how you aim it. So it's basically a bullpup carbine. You could hold it like this, but the arm's extended and it's less stable, in my opinion. There we go, full spot. I prefer this. Not that I'm a professional shooter, but I pray this gives me more control over it, and I can pull it hard against my shoulder this way. And this way. And right up close like that. Like that. And of course, it's a pellet rifle, so you have to you have to load every single shot. So, you know, scope's kind of pointless at, at only seven yards. But these, I don't want to bung up the screws and stuff like that. Not that this is collectible or worth really anything. But I just got it because of the cool factor. That's it. Um... I never seen any I've never seen anything like it before and somebody on reddit told me exactly what it is a very short sentence so uh, and somebody else commented that they saw something like this up in Pakistan and so anyway there it is uh, I promised some people that I would post this and then uh, I'm gonna go and get my pellets go down in the basement and see how it shoots. If it shoots like uh, a bunch of horse pucky, then, well, I should post it anyway, right? So, I don't know why all of a sudden my, my camera got really bright. So, I'm going to go down, sight it in, and we'll see how everything works out at seven yards. I can't shoot in my basement or my backyard because I've got backyard neighbors. You know, I'm not going to take the chance of missing and then putting a hole in something of theirs or popping out a window or anything like that. 
But I, you know, and it's a, it's fairly heavy. I don't know. The machining on it is really nice. I don't like the way the barrel mounts to the receiver. And the reason why is because it has just a tiny bit of play in it. But the scope is mounted to the to the upper receiver or the barrel. And that's what's important as far as I know. It would be different if it would the scope was mounted farther or closer to your face down here because the scope stays aimed according to the barrel and not to the receiver which means you would have zero in my opinion not that I'm a professional this would uh, um, the scope stays accurate with the barrel once it's sighted in so all it comes to you is just to, to shoot this is to keep your cheek the same or accurate with the the rifle so like I said I'm not going to point this at the camera because I'm not brandishing it I'm just saying this is a really cool pellet rifle and there it is and uh, thanks for watching and uh, let's get it sighted in and I I post in kind of a weird way so well, we'll see you downstairs. Bye. Okay, guys. I'm going to do 10 shots of uh, from the carbine that uh, I have posted on uh, our guns. And got, I had a bunch of you guys that wanted to see how it shot. So I got it sighted in. Um, I'll do uh, 10 shots to string that's what I like to do some people like three some people like five I like ten I've always been that way the the ones that you see already shot in are from my uh, a target pistol that I have and uh, it shoots a little bit different and I haven't shot that over uh, probably ten years so I'm just working on that one but this is that carbine, the two-piece carbine, the, the Chinese one. So anyway, here it is. I'm going to do cyclic because I think I've got it already sighted in. And I locked my cats in the, in the room so that they're not bugging me. So here it goes. And uh, hope you find it interesting. It actually works. This is with the four-power scope. Um, I could use the iron sights. It would work out the same. But I don't want to mess with them tonight. This is at seven yards. I know it's not that long, but that's all the space I got. This is number one. Number two, make sure I got the right target. Number 
Number three. Good. Got one. Number four. <clears throat> Number six. Seven. Eight. Ten. So there it is. Um, it doesn't kick very hard, and it's not very loud. But still, it's something that would get people's attention at the range. Uh, it'd be nice if in Utah, the ranges would realize that people aren't shooting 22 LR anymore, at least for now. And pellet rifles or pellet pistols <clears throat> are a good way to keep, keep your trigger ex experience up. So anyway, hope you guys found that interesting. Um, there it is. Alright, so I did my video of this carbine some people pronounce it carbine and I pronounce it carbine so what I did is I sighted it in for the scope I didn't use the iron sights at all and just so you know <clears throat> what it has on this side is a cocking release and then on the other side of the the uh, action is a anti -bear, bear trap device and then the trigger 
there's a safety on the trigger to lock the trigger trigger so it's actually pretty safe and I did find some markings on it and it is from China they're very very light I mean you can barely see it it's barely marked so what I did is I sighted it in I took it down in my basement and sighted it in with the scope and which was a little bit of work and I forgot to get keep my cap so I gotta go run back downstairs after this um, sighted it in what I did is you know one shot in single frame pictures of each shot each group and then um, you know that's careful aim I guess and then what I did was a cyclic video and this is gonna be the the end now there's in our guns there was a bunch of guys that really wanted to see how this shoots I apologize I've only got seven yards in my in the basement of my house so that's just the way it is um, comment on it uh, I appreciate watching uh, I think the next uh, if I choose to is uh, well we'll we'll go to Russia next and then back to China and the rest of my rifles I have a couple American Bell BB guns this is a Russian target pistol it does not have a safety it has fully adjustable sights for windage and uh, elevation and the weird thing with this thing is the front post is spring loaded so anyway this is a basically a competition target pistol which shoots better than I can in it's pretty low powered it's probably only 300 feet per second or 400 feet per second but guess what it is a pellet gun so I'll probably do a review or something of this the trigger is really nice on this the trigger on the carbine is actually fairly nice on it um, they're just simple I picked this up for really cheap this is back in the in the 90s or 2000s my cats cats are all happy because I was downstairs making noise and they love happy happy noises according to them so anyway this is Russian target pistol I probably paid less than 50 bucks for it so that's the end of show and tell for tonight on that um thanks for watching and uh, I know this is our I was intended for our guns but I'll post to a couple of cross posts and the only reason why I'm doing it is because the carbine was so cool it you know you had to I felt that there would be some interest and there's a, a guy if you look through the comments um, who actually identified what it is the carbine and the model and I looked it up and it's actually for sale in India but right now India is not in good shape so it's probably not for sale in India anyway thanks for watching and um, I'll probably do a, a, a kind of a semi review on that uh, target pistol and then I have a couple of other things but I don't want to tell you about them right now so anyway, thanks for watching. Hasta la vista. Um, keep your powder dry. Bye. Okay. Well, I'll make sure this is running because it messed up on me last time. So what I'm doing is 10 shots from my uh, Chinese suitcase pellet carbine I best guess that's the best way to describe it so I'm gonna do 10 rounds that's my preferred thing and it's gonna be cyclic so it's gonna be a little bit quiet and boring except for my counting um, that's uh, the best I can do so 
Let's see how she shoots. This is actually uh, about seven and a half yards. <clears throat> Not offhand. Two.
man. Alright. Well, there it is. <clears throat> Safety secure. I hope this took. My last video didn't take. I had the other target to show. If anybody cares. So it needs a little bit of a micro adjustment. And living out here, Utah, the gun range just won't let me shoot. Um, at the, the indoor ranges. So that's kind of cheesy. Anyway, there it is, about six minutes. That's the group, a couple of flyers. It's a Red Rider BB gun target. So, once the gun settles in, uh, it actually shoots pretty good while at seven and a half yards. So, there it is. 